everybody, welcome to another episode of What's New with Nadine, where today we're going to discuss how to build a wardrobe out of season. I just want to wish everybody a happy end of the summer. I've been busy, maybe you have as well, it's doing some traveling, some vacationing. But while I've been on vacation, I've been shopping. And so I have conserved this entire garment rack of items that I have purchased, and I even kept while I wore some of those, I kept the tags so I could share them with you. Um, so this concept of buying uh, out of season isn't a unique concept uh, for wardrobe or for me. Uh, most of you ladies and guys know that after Christmas, many of you run to Walmart, Target, Pier 1, Michaels, and you go the next day after Christmas or New Year's and you buy up all of the clearance uh, so that next year, the following year, you can redecorate with a different theme, a different theme color, and of course you're paying 50, sometimes 70% off. So I apply those same principles to uh, developing a wardrobe. And what's great about it is when you're buying off season, for those of you maybe buying in the summer, at the end of the season buying more summer and spring clothes, you can put them in your closet and if you're, tra if you're planning on traveling at all throughout the winter, let's say Disney World, uh, many people take cruises, they go to uh, fly to an island, you will have on the ready several outfits or three or four blouses um, because there's nothing worse than panicking as the trip is approaching and you don't know what to wear, what to bring. You go to the store, some stores um, have that season's clothing out already and some don't, but that panic of trying to put together outfits um, can easily be erased if you buy now. And additionally, if you buy now for next year, there's nothing better than next, let's say April or May, and you open your closet and you already have the foundation of some cute little outfits. When that first Saturday comes and it's warm out, we all remember that feeling. It's exciting. It's not cold. And you feel like whatever blouses or tops you wore last year felt a little stale. Like me, I wear clothes to death. I rewear them and rewear them. Um, so when the next year comes, they kind of feel a little stale. And I always wait until the next year. Um, I've been wearing a lot of clothes this summer that I didn't buy last year, but I bought the year before. And you might find that kind of uh, interesting. But, you know, when you are a mature woman like myself, um, I kind of skim the trends. Um, if you open my closet on any given day or season, you will be uh, hard pressed to find something that is um, trendy. Um, as we get older, um, I think it's more wise to invest in timeless pieces, blouses, slacks, um, and occasionally I will buy something that is um, a little trendy, but I would not spend a lot of money on it um, because the following season it just, you may feel out of place. Um, or, and then maybe you only wore it once because some trendy pieces are a little bit, um, loud sometimes and like this summer the white shoe was in the white boot uh in the spring women were still wearing those white booties that's a trend that i couldn't uh embrace um i just felt like someone would say well here she comes with those white boots it just reminded me of go-go boots from the 70s um so if you were to invest 60 70 dollars on a pair of white patent leather boots um you, you probably won't wear them again. And so to me, it's not the best place to spend my money. So I just remembered that I did buy something uh, last week and I don't have it in the collection. So if you could bear with me for a second, I'm gonna pause the camera and I'm gonna go get it. Okay. I'm back and here it is ladies here is the little item that I bought um, uh, about 10 days ago at Target so we were in Target 
shopping for some diapers for my granddaughter for when she visits and oh news flash my daughter is expecting her her and her husband are expecting their first baby in january so i'm very excited so i will be now buying size uh five diapers for my uh elder granddaughter and then i'll be back to buy newborns uh for the baby that's expected in january very very excited so anyways back to the hat so I've said it in many videos before that I have uh, only recently this year embraced hats. I think because I'm petite, I always thought like, I don't know, I looked foolish. Um, I thought you had to be tall to rock a hat. Well, I'm wearing them. I'm enjoying them. I wore them a lot this summer, wide brim. I think it kind of makes a statement. I think when you walk into a room, the first thing you see is the hat. And uh, so I'm really enjoying uh, adding pieces to my uh, hat wardrobe. Um, I love this hat. It's camel. Uh, everybody knows I love um, either a monochromatic look or some um, neutrals. I like to stick with neutrals. And what's great about this hat is I look forward to wearing it. We go to a lot of country fairs in the fall and they're just starting. Um, this hat was uh, originally $16.99 and I bought it for $11.88. And um, I think if you wore this hat with a denim coat, maybe a black turtleneck or a mock turtleneck, white slacks, uh, jeans preferably, like a skinny jean tucked into a little booty, I think you, oh my God, it's just a great Pinterest worthy uh, look. Um, and do you ever use Pinterest? Do you ever go on Pinterest? Uh, by the way, it's a little anecdotal uh, tip. I go on Pinterest a lot and I'll say uh, going, going to Florida, what to pack. Um, of course, I know how to pack for a trip, but when you put that into Pinterest, it'll give you a lot of women will do their entire uh, luggage. They'll break it down to different um, ideas, three tops, two pairs of jeans and shorts, and they kind of give you a variety of ideas of what to wear. Um, I did that when we went to Mardi Gras. I remember distinct, distinctly, I have it saved in my phone, what to wear to Mardi Gras. And um, they're just great, you know, tutorials, inspiration, motivation. So if you're ever thinking, I'm going on a cruise to, let's say the Caribbean, put it in Pinterest. Just write that and let me tell you, there's a plethora of great ladies that have taken the time to document their items, how they pack them, what they suggest, what you shouldn't bring. Uh, I've never been on a cruise, so I, I, I think I would find that um, probably a little difficult. What, what does the ship offer? Um, what will you be buying in port, let's say? So use Pinterest. Uh, it's on, you know, all of our computers and phones. Um, use it as a, um, uh, like an encyclopedia for uh, style ideas. But anyway, so this is the hat added to my wardrobe. So the reason I wanted to do this video is when you are out um, for a long weekend, maybe with your family, or if you're planning a vacation, get a bumper sticker, put it on the back of your car and say, I break for Marshalls, okay? Because I do. I find that when I'm out of state or out of town, <clears throat> when I see a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx, I don't know, they're always so much better than the one in my hometown. Even though I still go to the one in my hometown like every two, three weeks, sometimes twice in one week. Um, when you go to one in a different state, they always have um, racks that are different than ours. And so that you can find pieces. Um, I'm not one of those people that is concerned that someone else has the same dress or jumpsuit, but a lot of women are. So if you buy out of town, you eliminate that risk, let's say. And uh, so I wanna show you the items that I have bought in Marshalls. Right now is a great time. Marshalls, TJ Maxx, of course, if you prefer Macy's, all of these stores have sales. What, what's left of JCPenney, if you have one still in your area. Go there now. Uh, it is a little slim pickings, but the clearance racks are abundant. And if you're patient and you have time and you're not in a rush, Go there and start to buy pieces now. And trust me, you will be so excited when the time comes and you need them. So while in the Berkshires uh, this summer, we pulled into a Marshalls and um, I wanna show you a couple of the items that I bought and just give you an example. This wasn't even on the clearance rack. This was as soon as I walked into the store um, and it's beautiful. 
It's just white. It has a little coral uh, flowers. I love the detail. It's already tied. This is fixed. Um, and uh, it was $12.99. Imagine it wasn't even on uh, clearance. And I just thought with a, with a dress, I mean, excuse me, a skirt, um, pair of white jeans. Um, and what's nice is that you can layer this. You can wear this in the spring with a cardigan. I could wear this now um, also with a cardigan. Everybody knows I love blazers. Um, it's just a great piece for work, for play, um, and it's so feminine. So along that same line, this was here as well. And, um, okay, it's inside out. <laughs> I think I just rushed to put it on the hanger. Um, I saved the tag and this was ten dollars um, and it has the little tie at the bottom. Um, this is great because it's flowy. Um, a print like this wouldn't really go out of style. You could pair this with shorts, jeans. Um, likewise you can wear this uh, straight through the fall with a little denim jacket, even a little uh, leather coat. And as soon as I saw this, I'm always attracted to orange, uh, rust, spice. I love, you know, even my makeup always has the same color palette. I'm always wearing a uh, burnt orange, um, amber. I love all those colors. So I'm always attracted when I see something like this. I'm drawn to it on a rack. Uh, this was $6. And what's really nice about this is in the summer, you know, if you're at a friend's, maybe by the water, or at a poolside, or at a restaurant, you can pair this. I would pair this over one monochromatic color, white top, white pants, black jeans, black top, and I would pair this over just for a little detail. Um, it's so pretty. It's just like a wrap. You know, if I was younger, I'd put it over a bathing suit, but it's certainly not enough coverage for me today. And then the last piece I got at that Marshalls I wore this weekend. Um, red is another thing I've introduced to my wardrobe last year. I think you have to have a lot of confidence um, to wear red. Uh, something I have struggled with with my style. I can't wear red lipstick. I have a girlfriend who says I can. I don't know. I've tried it a few times. I still think I look like a clown. Um, I think because I have warm tones um, and my hair. I always keep my hair in a warm tone. So red is just too striking for me. I think you see my lips coming. Although here's my mother. I always have her picture here in my office. She rocks that red lip. Uh, I don't know. I can't do it. So this has the same detail as the first uh, blouse. It has this fixed uh, side um, little uh, detail and it's so pretty. I, I wore this with a pair of black uh, satin shorts. Um, you could wear it with flats, uh, black jeans, black slacks um you know and of course you could put a black blazer over it i just think some of these pieces um this was also it was under ten dollars i did i i don't know what i did with the uh tag um but i think it's these are great pieces to have in your wardrobe in two years three years four years if this still is still in my wardrobe it will still be timely um and in style there is one more piece uh, that I bought. Um, this is just one of those cold shoulders. Uh, I love it. Um, it's just the print is so pretty, also so feminine. I think uh, the common denominator with all of these items is that they're very feminine, free flowing, because as we get older, we all recognize that in the summer, we can't have anything um, bearing down on our skin. I can't wear anything tight on top. Um, I just, you know, we start sweating profusely <laughs> in the summer as it is with our hormones raging. Um, I don't know where the estrogen is gone. I don't know. So something like this free flowing, beautiful. Right before we left, we have a St. Vincent de Paul Society. They have a little charity shop near my husband's office and they close for the month of August every year. Um, and it supports uh, Catholic charities. I go there all the time, at least once a week. Um, so this was just a little pretty blouse. It's not Ann Taylor's L, but it just reminds me of a typical Ann Taylor piece. Um, it was $2. I tried to give them four um, because I was embarrassed. Uh, $2 just didn't seem right. 
uh, all the ladies, I've spoken about them in a previous video. They're all adorable. They all volunteer their time, but she wouldn't take the $4. She insisted on $2. Um, again, what a staple piece in your wardrobe. 10 years from now, this will still be in style and you know how to pair it and you know what to wear it with. Classic black and white. So this summer, um, I also um, came across a place called Plato's Closet. And I Googled it. Um, I always Google consignment stores near me. No matter where I am, it is non-negotiable. If I tell my husband, go do what you got to do. Let me have the rent a car, whatever. <laughs> I have to, uh, he always comes with me though. Um, I always do consignment shops near me. And uh, this summer I came across Plato's Closet. And I think it's more uh, geared towards younger girls. It has a lot of... Um, uh, H&M, Forever 21 kind of clothes and stuff. But I was curious, so I went. And I think it's uh, more like a franchise. And there are a lot of baby items. I would say the whole store is geared from like 21 years old and under. Some of the stuff in there was uh, pretty funny, uh, pretty swanky. <laughs> if you're young, I thought, oh my God, if I was 25 or 24, I would be just buying rows and rows of clothes. Um, I thought everything was priced... Um, well they had a lot of uh sales going on and this is a pair of shorts that i bought i wore them a lot this summer they have it has pockets and why i bought them because they are white is because they're lined and uh, that's rare to find a pair of white pants uh, shorts that are lined or even white pants um i love these uh they were also under ten dollars i i don't have the uh receipt i think i think there were six or seven not not a lot of money they were brand new. They had a tag. I wasn't familiar with any of it. Uh, Mont Monto. Um, and I think this is a brand that's always at Marshall's. Um, and you know, I don't know if I'll wear these again next year. I mean, we'll see. Um, but for $7, trust me, I got my money's worth this summer. I wore these a lot. And while I was there, I found these beautiful um, wedges. And they are taupe. And they're suede. Um, Bar Barbara Barberi. The only reason I tried these on is because they say right in there, made in Italy. And of course, we all know if shoes are made in Italy, they're often um, crafted well. They're more comfortable. I have worn these a dozen times over the summer. They were new when I bought them. N nothing on the bottom. They were just perfect. Um, also, these were $8. Uh, I already got my money's worth. Um, I will wear them again. I'll wear them in the winter if we go away. Um, stick with nudes, ladies. Stick with nudes. And when you're out on vacation, look for consignment stores. Look for Salvation Army or Goodwill. Walk around. You have nothing to lose. They always have also... I didn't buy any jewelry this summer. I, I don't recall buying any. But they always have costume jewelry, especially those charity shops like the church shops. A lot of those uh, clip-on earrings and little cute uh, necklaces and bracelets. Look around. Sometimes, um, like this weekend in Boston, we went to an antique center. You, you're all familiar with these. They have them in brick warehouses and buildings and there's several booths or several floors of individual booths and I always look around and I think oh my gosh this booth tells a story there's little petite like leather gloves little adorable like mules and uh, like a black patent mule um, or a slide and I see like Louis Vuitton luggage and everything is worn and um, they're usually not manned by someone you bring the item up downstairs or upstairs to the register and I always think this particular booth has told the story um, probably a lady um, maybe let's say a wealthy lady because everything in that booth this one particularly um, was beautiful I mean really beautiful all the shoes the gloves the hats several mink coats um, shawl uh, the mink that you know the wrap beautiful scarves um, they were all designer scarves. And I was just enjoying uh, looking at everything. I didn't buy anything in that booth, but I thought it told the story. So pull in, pull into these um, little niche um, markets and consignment stores in the towns that you're visiting. If you're going to a sister-in-law's or a brother's house in a town, three towns away, 
leave early and shop. I mean, that's what my husband and I do. We enjoy doing that. He doesn't look at clothes. <laughs> he looks at books. He looks at license plates. We do have an antiques and salvage business ourselves, so he's always buying license plates. Okay, so on our way back from Boston, first thing my husband Googled Sunday morning were, was flea markets near me. So we hit a couple of those and we just, we separate. He goes his way, I go my way. So this is what I found. Look at these. These are Aldo, okay? They're beautiful. This woman had several pairs of boots that she was selling. She was, she was a very sweet woman. Uh, probably my age, a little younger. Um, she had several winter items, and um, these were not worn at all. Um, I didn't look them up. These are Aldo, so we all know this is probably 150. I have no idea. It's lined. It's waterproof because when the winter comes, and let's face it, it's coming, um, and you're outside and you're helping clean up the yard like I do. I help my son. He plows. I brush snow off the deck and stuff. Um, there's nothing worse than your feet getting cold. And when I shopped around for waterproof um, boots, first of all, they're not uh, attractive. Not that I'm really going anywhere, but I would like to go to like the grocery store and not have to keep changing my clothes. Um, but cold, wet feet, it's the worst. It's like your hands. Um, and I didn't want to spend the $100. I mean, it's not a fashion item. It's just a practical item. But these are adorable. So check out the flea market. Okay, so before I get to the final Marshall's score, while in the Berkshires, trying to keep it a little interesting, go from clothes to shoes. Okay, so we're in Lee, Massachusetts, rolling into the beautiful, beautiful mountainous uh, Berkshires, so beautiful. Um, we come across a goodwill and my husband said, you know, I have to run to the bank. Let's stop and get some coffee, etc." So I spy the little goodwill. So it was tiny, like the size of this office of mine, very small. And there were several young college boys, I'd say in there, cause they were all buying like an entire wardrobe and I was listening to them giggle. And I thought we've really come a long way when four or five young 18, 19 year old boys are in Goodwill shopping for t-shirts and shorts. I thought it was cute. Anyways, these were in the window. Okay. These are black. These are like a velvet. Now I'm not one to buy an over the knee boot. I do have one pair of tan leather over the knee and I always wear that, wear those particular boots with white jeans. I think it's the only way I can pull it off. Um, and they ha it has just a little heel, like a chunk uh, heel. This, people, is a stiletto. Now, how do we wear this as a mature woman, right? It's a good question because we don't want to look foolish. Um, we all watch the housewives. They all wear them. Uh, some can pull them off, some can't. Um, I would suggest this with a black legging and a black uh, sweater, long sweater. We have to cover our bums. We can't show our rear ends anymore. I would I would style this with something black. I think leather would contrast this uh, satin. This is already shiny, so I wouldn't do leather, but I would do either a black fitted jean or a black legging, black top, black leather jacket, um, probably a no, maybe a black blazer, and I think we could wear this uh, well. I don't know if I would wear this with a dress. The dress would have to come down past the over the knee height of this boot. Ladies, we don't wanna show, I mean, I show my legs all the time in the summer. Uh, it is what it is. It's probably not age appropriate, but I do, okay. So in the winter though, I think we stand out too much. I think if we were to wear like a short skirt and you saw like this much of your thigh and then the boot, it's, it's, not, a, it's not an attractive look and it's not, it's, it doesn't give you that one continuous color that we all achieved to make us look a little bit more uh, taller, thinner, a little bit more youthful. So these were, can't probably read it, but I'm gonna read it for you, okay. So these were $149. Um, they're the INC brand from Macy's. They're brand new, never worn. 
Mark down to Macy's, 30%, etc., etc. et cetera. Goodwill received them as a donation, marked them down to 1999. I was happy. I put them on. I'm like, they fit. If I wear them a couple times and I can get away with it and style it right, I'm going to wear it. I got to the register and the lady rang it up. She said, $9.99. And I, I said, um, what happened to 19? And she said, oh, whatever the discount of the day was. So, um, you know, you got a break for Goodwill and consignment stores, ladies, because you never know what you're going to find. So, in that same vein, here we are, fringe. Now, we all love fringe because it harkens back to our time in the 70s, um, in the 80s, 60s, for the boomers who know that fringe was all the rage. Look at these. Look at the heel. These are Nine West. And what I love about them, I think everything I own, I swear, is camel or tan. And uh, I found these at Goodwill. I would say they were worn maybe once. I mean, there's just a little bit. Uh, maybe someone walked around the store. I can't tell. I can't say for certain that they're brand new. They didn't have a tag, but they're, to me, they're almost new. Um, $9.99. So I got two pairs. These are suede. This is real suede, by the way. Um, it's beautiful. I would style this very similar to the black boot. I would wear black on um, black and this because you don't want to have too many colors competing um, or I would wear all white and this on the bottom. Um, be mindful of how many colors head to toe that you're styling because I think um, you always want to draw attention or focus to just one area, your top, your bottom, or your shoes. And often, uh, ladies, in the morning, I I get dressed based on a pair of shoe. If I wanted to wear these tomorrow, let's say it's November, and I want to wear these uh, out, I'll start with this and then I'll build up. I do that all the time. I just do. Um, you have to get inspiration where you get inspiration. Um, in addition to that Pinterest um, suggestion before I close this video out, I wanted to mention that um, whom do you aspire to dress like? Um, I, I always mention the housewives because I think, you know, they're silly and fun and I enjoy watching it. I love the styles and um, the trends that they pull off during their season. But um, for me, it's Gigi Hadid. Um, uh, I really, uh, excuse me, Yolanda. <laughs> Gigi's her famous daughter, right? Um, Yolanda Hadid. Um, I just thought she was without a doubt, all the housewives combined, the most classiest, stylist. Um, she just had such an eye for detail, probably because she was a model, um, is a model, you know, she's from uh, Denmark. She just has that innate uh, knowledge of knowing what looks good on her. And she often wore white jeans, winter, spring, summer, or fall, she rocked those jeans. Um, whether it was with a pointy toe stiletto, a boot, or a pair of uh, flip-flops. I think she dressed uh, age appropriately. She, she just, it was just that smart look. We all know women, um, maybe in our family, girlfriends and stuff, that just have that smart look when they put an outfit together. So I have many, many times gone on Pinterest and typed in Yolanda Hadid. And boy, it loads. It loads her style when she visits New York to see her daughters. She has on one, if I can find the picture, I will put it up. She had a camel hair um, winter coat, like a military coat with white on white, white sweater, white jeans, a pair of boots. I mean, the look is um, so beautiful, so simple. I think that's her key, that she uses simple style choices and pairs them and has a great look. So if you like somebody, um, famous or otherwise, go on uh, Pinterest, write uh, mature style. Um, I have a graduation party, what to wear, what's a casual party, what's a cocktail party style. And it will load several ideas, more than several, but tons of ideas and um, I have drawn so much inspiration from that and so I want to recommend that. So before we close uh, today, two things I want to share with you. Okay, 
I bought this item in the beginning of the summer and as you guys know I don't get compensated um, but I wanted to use it for a while before I recommended it right so it's elf so we already know it's a drugstore product it's very inexpensive it's under ten dollars it's called dewy setting mist okay I love this first of all it's coconut right who doesn't love coconut maybe you don't but most of us do after I apply my makeup, but before I put on my mascara, I do like five spritzes, one, two, three, four, five from here. And what it does is it creates a dewy finish um, and it helps set your makeup. This is the final product to put on before either you blow dry your hair or you put your mascara on. I don't recommend it when you have mascara because sometimes it'll run. I've done that, it doesn't work out well. Um, what's great about this is over the summer, I would spritz myself um, during the day. It's just um, illuminating, um, it's hydrating, it's $10. I bought it in probably June, May, I don't know. I have still probably half, a quarter to half left. Um, I love it, I love it. Go down to Rite Aid, Walgreens or CVS and buy it. You won't be disappointed. And excuse me, when people always say my skin is glowing, I don't know what to say. I'm like, is it the elf? Dewy Spray Mask? Is it my Kat Von D makeup? I really don't know. Um, is it my skincare? Who really knows? Um, stay tuned because I'm going to do a makeup video uh, soon. So the inspiration for this video came from this outfit, right? I'm going to stand up, see if you could see it, but I will insert a picture. Okay, it's a beautiful jumpsuit, right? It's just great. It has a little flare bottom. I'll insert a picture so you can see it, okay? Now, Marshalls, ladies, Marshalls, $19.99, okay? Who doesn't love a jumpsuit? I already have a video on jumpsuits, but $19.99? I mean, I've worn it four times and I bought it last week. I mean, I, I keep wearing it because the comfort level, look at the pockets, look at this. I mean, it has a little um, belt. I mean, it's just gorgeous. I didn't take a lot of time today to uh, primp, you know, uh, necklace and stuff um, because I wanted to shoot the video while the sun was <laughs> bright because I have so much trouble with lighting. So this particular uh, jumpsuit, when I bought it, I wanted to wear it that night to a friend's house, was very low cut in the front and low cut in the back. Okay, at our age, mature, mature women, we can't wear open back anything. Maybe you can, God bless if you can, but uh, I can't. So... Tip number, I don't know, four today, Stitch Witch. I have several of these, whoops, I have several of these in my laundry room, in my little, I don't know why I have a sewing kit. I don't sew. I don't sew anything. Um, interestingly, my husband's mom lives with us, and she was a dressmaker. She's a seamstress, uh, but I don't like to bother her. Her hands are... Uh, uh, crampy and um, swollen from you know 40 years of sewing so I don't really like you know occasionally she fixes my son's clothes or uniform she did that through uh, their Catholic high school years and stuff but today I really don't like to bother her my husband can sew he learned that from his mother he can sew a button he can sew a hem he's pretty <laughs> pretty fantastic but I'm not I'm not interested you could try to show me I can't do it stitch witch if you're not familiar with this, you put the item on the ironing board, like I did. I cut a few pieces, I put the iron, pressed it, done. Okay, it's not a permanent solution, okay? It's not a permanent solution. I'm going to have to wash this by hand, I'm going to have to be very careful. And I did this in the front, and I did it in the back. And so it made it more appropriate. I, you know, my husband would have preferred if I did it all the way up to here. Um, it's really hard to judge. You have to put it on, like pin it, whatever. I, don't, I can't do that. I just have to cut it, put it on, iron it, and hope for the best. So the very last thing I bought at Marshall's with this jumpsuit, ladies, look at these. Just look. Nine West. I always seem to always buy Nine West shoes. Of course, it's nude. We all know that by now. Look at this. Okay, they were 30 they were marked down additionally, and I bought them for $14. So when I went into the dressing room with the jumpsuit, I said to the lady, I don't want to leave these in my car because someone's going to steal them. She said to me, where did you find them? I said, on the markdown rack. She goes, oh, you're lucky you saw them before I did. 
and I said to her, don't let anybody take them. So I look forward to, you know, I'm probably not going to wear these this summer. Um, the summer's over. These are so beautiful. I'm, it's going to be the first thing I put in a pair of you know, luggage uh, for this winter if we go to Florida or something. I mean, just look at it. All leather. Stunning. You can wear this with a jean. You can wear this with a dress. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just beautiful. So that... Ladies and gents, is uh, we've come to the conclusion of this video. I just wanted to, you know, again, expand your mind, encourage you to um, shop um, outside your comfort zone. Um, in many of these places, uh, especially that vintage market that we went to, there were clutches and clutches and clutches. I already have a whole inventory of clutches, but I could have bought several more. I mean, you can buy beautiful gloves, scarves. Um, I just think that if you don't push yourself <laughs> to try to shop outside a Macy's or, um, you know, uh, Lord and Taylor, or of course online, I'm just talking about adding detail to your wardrobe. Um, if you don't want to look like everybody else, walking out of uh, Lord and Taylor, then shop in these stores. These are pre-loved items. It creates a sustainable wardrobe. These items go on uh, to have a new home. You know, that's what sustainability is all about. They're not going to a landfill. And I just remembered I have one more item. I bought this item in the spring. I'll insert a picture. I'm excited to wear it now. It's a... Um, it's similar to a trench. Um, I paid less than $20. It was in Marshalls when they put the summer items out. They left uh, what was left from winter. It's not even a winter item. Um, this was on the markdown rack and I wanted to share it with you because I bought it a couple months ago. It's army green. Again, all white would look beautiful with this. Um, it does have the tie detail for the belt and it has this beautiful neckline. Um, and I wanted to bring that out because I did wear it once after I bought it. Um, and so now I'm excited. Now I can wear that in the winter. I mean, in the fall, I could pair this hat with it. I mean, it, it's just, you know, some of these staple items are just tremendous. Um, so back to consignment stores, look, shop, open your eyes, take a chance. What's the worst? You go through the whole entire store and you don't find anything. I mean, when you're in Goodwill, you'll end up coming out with wine glasses. I mean, some things are just too hard to pass up. If you're looking for a popcorn maker, you know, there's so many, um, uh, so many items in boxes never opened that are sold in the houseware department. I mean, tablecloths, you name it. There are towels, sheets, things that are just you know, in their original packaging, um, and, and you can't pass up the detail. Um, but let me know, write a comment below. I hope you subscribe to my channel. I try to encourage you to stay youthful. Um, let's grow bolder together, not necessarily older. Let's put our best foot forward every day. Um, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up, and I really hope you will subscribe. I'm trying to grow my channel, and I'm trying to uh, develop, right now I'm developing a lot of projects. We just went to a lingerie store. We shot a whole video. Um, I went to the salon last week. We shot that video. Stay tuned. I have a lot of videos coming up. And um, my husband and I are going to compete in an exercise competition uh, in September. Look forward to that. And so I encourage you to uh, take a few minutes every week, watch a video. Maybe you'll learn something. I do because I watch several women on YouTube and every week I learn something. Um, and I do compartmentalize this in a small part of my life. I have a great family. I have stress like you do. I have children. I have granddaughter, one on the way. Um, and this is just a small little area for me to um, enjoy a passion of mine. Um, but I try to keep it, um, you know, keep it uh, understated. So thank you for watching. And I look forward to seeing you soon in the next uh, video of What's New with Nadine. Thank you. Bye-bye.